Hello everyone, welcome to William and the Magic Box. Today on our show, we are going to have Gael. Gael is from France, but he lives in London. So let's see what Gael has to say. Enjoy the interview. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, Gael. How are you? Good, good, you? Yeah? I'm very well, thank you very much. Just before we start the game, tell me where you're from. So I'm from France, uh, but I've lived in the UK for about 20 years. Right, which part of France? I'm from the Alps. Right, it's amazing. And uh, actually, my best friend is from, is from is French. He lives in Canada. He lives in Montreal. Oh, okay. oh cool. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. And uh, what do you do for a living? So I teach and I'm a head of year as well in a school. Right. And what's, tell me what's the most interesting thing about your job? Uh, it's never the same. So every day is different and there's always a challenge, but I'm always up for it. So. Cool. Am I saying her name right, Ga Gael? Gael, yeah, perfect. Okay, okay Gael, so welcome to William the Magic Box. I have Thank you. Boxy, okay, full of random questions. I'm sure you're familiar with it already. I... <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna play a music now just for us to get in the mood before the first question. Ready? Perfect, yeah. Ready for the first question? I am. Let's do it. Right, um, tell us about your guilty pleasure. My guilty pleasure? Uh, I love to watch cartoons, and I'm 41, but I still like to watch cartoons on my age. <laughs> I love as well, actually. Which one is your favorite? Uh, at the moment, Bob's Burgers. It's really funny. Not really for kids, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go for another question. Before the next question, uh, tell me what you like the most about London, living in London. Uh, what I like about London is uh, every day is different. There's always an adventure. There's always something uh, amazing happening every day. So things that you never expect. Yeah. And what you don't like at all about London? Uh, sometimes it can be too crowded and the weather <laughs> could get a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> right. Next question is, are you a cat or a dog person? And if you could be an animal, which animal you would be? So, I'm a cat person. My cat is just next to me there. Oh, show me. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 um, Say hi. Oh my God, that's so sweet. So what, it's a girl? Uh, it's a boy. His What's his Mocha. name? Mocha. Mocha. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And if I could be any animal, I'd be a platypus. So I love the platypus. Wait, why is that? Uh, so the platypus, well, there used to be a story when I was a kid. And it was a little uh, duck. And he was never happy about what he had. So he didn't have the right kind of, um, you know, physical appearance and everything. So he went to Mother Nature and she changed him, changed him, changed him until he looked like a platypus. And then um, that's it. <laughs> Oh, yes. interesting, <laughs> interesting. Ready for another one? I am. Let's do it. Okay, next question is, um, what do you miss the most about your childhood and why? Um, I think maybe sometimes the innocence, because mm -hmm. when you grow up, then you find out, you know, life is not always perfect. But all in all, I'm always happy about, you know, how old I am now anyway, so it doesn't change much to me now, but I wouldn't want to be a child again, though. I don't know about <laughs> you. Yeah, I might be being an adult. <laughs> do you have brothers and sisters? I've got two sisters. Older or younger than you? Uh, they're both younger than, younger than me. Right, uh, yeah, they are back in France, I believe. They are in France at the moment, so I've not seen them in about 11 months now for one of them, and then nearly two years for the other one, so... I see. Okay, cool. Let's get another question, Gaia. Let's do it. Okay, before the next question, and uh, what do you miss the most about uh, France, about your hometown? Uh, my family. So... Oh. Yeah moment so my family has been a bit difficult but uh, <laughs> you know soon we'll be together again so of course absolutely absolutely next question is what do you like the most about yourself 
Um, I think I'm quite outgoing. Um, I'm easy to talk to. I'm, I'm always um, half full type of person. So, you know, things I'm kind of like, I don't know, when I went to Brazil, people say tanto faz. So, you know, things don't, don't really fight. Don't <laughs> fight. Yeah, you know that? So I think things just, yeah, they walk past me. So I'm quite a happy person. Like that. Cool. That's very good. That's very good. Uh, where did you go in Brazil? So in Brazil. So we landed in Sao Paulo. Uh -huh. And through, uh, oh, through it. Uh, in the Nordest, so uh, Bahia. Bahia? And mm -hmm. uh, uh, Chapada Diamantina. Oh, amazing. I've been Chapada Diamantina. That's up of the mountain. So, yeah. I Part of Brazil, it was amazing, and then we finished by Rio and then back to São Paulo. So, yeah, it was amazing. You're from Brazil, right? As well, yeah, I'm from Brazil. Yeah, I'm originally from Brazil. Uh, my state where I come from is Mato Grosso, northwest near Brasilia. So, oh. um, yeah, so I've been in Rio, I've been, I lived in Rio for six months, um, and uh, I've been to Salvador as well. Bahia, Salvador, it's a beautiful place. It's very to, to, uh, you know, Brazil is very different. Every part you go, so you feel like in a totally different country. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's very different. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. I'm glad you had a good time. <laughs> right, let's get another question, Gael. Let's do it. Okay, next question is, um, what your parents did or do that comforts you the most? Um, I think they just accept me for who I am, so it doesn't matter to them, you know, what I do, who I love, uh, as long as I'm happy, they're happy for me. So I think that's the best thing that they could ever do for me. That's amazing. Do you talk then uh, like every day or very often? Yeah, every day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. You know what? This um, this epidemic time, like the first lockdown yeah. we had, I, start, I started studying French. I love French. I love you. Because, because I've got so many French friends, like my best friend. Yeah. His girlfriends, and actually, I've got. Some, I'm gonna be. He's got. Um, his baby's got father. I oh. meant to go to Canada in October now, but uh, because of this lockdown, everything yeah. can go. Um, so yeah. So and I, and actually, I you know this. I'm sure you know this uh, radio called uh, Nostalgia. Yes, Radio Nostalgia. Yes, I listen to it every single day. Oh. Every single day, I love it. Every single the, the first thing when I wake up since since March this year, when I, I find out so because when I started studying French. I, um, you know, it's always good for you to have um, uh, contact with the language all the time. So I was listening to this track all the time, and that, and I've got so many French music that I love it, and uh, that's uh, the only way I could I could get it. And uh, it's just like listen to the the radio and they play every day. I just love it. I just love it. Those such understanding as well. So I teach languages. Yeah. It's, yeah. You know, which you hear every day then. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing Greek every day uh, since lockdown started. So. <laughs> Cool. Very important. <laughs> Great. Cool. Let's get another question, guy. Let's do it. Before the next question, how long were you in Brazil for? So I stayed a month in Brazil. Oh wow! Yeah. So you had time to explore, be like very good. Yeah. Like, good. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wish I went again though. It's been a long time now. So. Did you go alone or you go with friends? Uh, with friends, and um, there we met some of my Brazilian friends, and then we right. made some new friends. It's just amazing. So yeah. it's like a really cool country. It's so different. North, yeah. South, everybody is so different. So, but people are really happy. Yes. And I like it. I thought you know it's important. We have the we have the thing in Brazil like um, when uh, when one person can sleep can sleep two people when can eat three people we can eat four people we have this kind of approach you know there's yeah. always a way to find a way to to accommodate things, things. Um, overall. Next question is uh, tell us uh, all right I, I might change this question okay but I'm gonna go tell <laughs> us about your, uh, tell us about your best holidays and why do you consider that. <laughs> if you tell me so Brazil, I'll we'll take another one. <laughs> well, I, I enjoyed Brazil very much. It was quite amazing. But I think the first one I did just before uh, was Singapore. Okay. Um, because i would never left Europe before. And I was just a year before Brazil. So Brazil is, you know, close second. <laughs> um, um, Singapore was so different, so far away. Uh, Asia is something that's really quite different from Europe. So I really, really enjoyed that. But it gave me, you know, desire to explore the world more. So therefore, the year after, I went to Brazil. So cool. Singapore, Brazil, I loved both of them. Really different. <laughs> 
places. So, <laughs> okay, cool. Right, I enjoyed the show so far, Gaia. I have a good time. Loving it. It's yeah? brilliant. <laughs> cool. Let's get another question. Okay, next question is. Um, Right, very good one. If you need to remove from your um, from your phone, Instagram or YouTube, whatever, which one would you choose? Ah, uh, tough question. Very uh, tough. I've been loving Instagram actually a lot, but then YouTube, you can like listen to all of the songs, like you listen to nostalgia, so all of the songs from my hometown really quickly. Uh, so. Ugh, that's really tough. So I'd say I'm really not. Uh, I mean, I'm going to read YouTube actually because Instagram is just better at the moment. I love yeah. Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. It's a very tough one, isn't it? Nowadays, it's like an oh, no. it, yeah, extension yeah. of your hand, you know, Facebook that's and it. Instagram and uh, YouTube because you find everything over there, both. Yeah. yeah? About connecting with people, about, you know, you have so, YouTube, you have everything there. Every single one watch it. it. It's there, everything. Yeah. So, yeah. Very Pretty tough. tough. One. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get another question. Okay. Next question is, um, what was your best friend's name growing up and why did you consider this person as your best friend at the time? So, um, it might not be growing up, but it might be when I moved to London. So, um, I met a French guy called Sebastian. And really quickly, we became really, really close friends. He was the best man at my wedding. And I think he's my best friend because uh, he listens to me without any judgment and vice versa. And we were in Brazil together. So we enjoy traveling everywhere together. Amazing. And it's just amazing. So I love him to bits. Cool. Very cool. Cool. Let's get another question. For the next one, so you had a you being you had a you, sorry. Uh, oh, come now, William. <laughs> so you had uh, so you had a partner. You got married. Yes. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, eight we got married. Ago? Ago? Again, sorry. We got married eight years ago. All right. Is French yeah. or? Uh, no, it's British. But we've met yeah about twelve years ago. Oh, we spent from yeah Singapore and Ireland. So it's a bit of a mix. Good. Very good. Right. Good question now. What's the worst advice you have given? Maybe, I don't know, maybe for somebody to pick a subject. So, because I, I advise kids, you know, to choose what they want to do. And actually, they really failed at that. They didn't like it at all. So, <laughs> I, that might be what I've done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not proud I mean, of it. It came from a good place anyway. It came from yeah. a good place. So just help me That's out. So, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Let's get another question, guys. Yeah, let's do it. Hey. How do you make friends? Um, I think I listen to people and I speak really easily. So if you're telling me something about you, I'm not going to forget it. So I quite like having people like that about me. I, I actually listen to people when people speak. So. Nice well, well, well. <laughs> cool, cool. Right, um, I've got three questions left for you. Okay. Nice. <laughs> right, um, what is the nicest thing a family member has ever done for you? Um, so, one of my auntie, really close auntie, um, I was about to tell my granddad that actually I like guys rather than girls and I didn't know, you know, I was going to bottle it and then she actually came and spoke to me and she said, you know, I think he really wants to hear the truth from you and, you know, I followed her advice and I've been happy ever since so I think that was the best thing she's done for me. Oh, that's very nice, that's very, very sweet. Nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, how old were you when you came out to your family? Uh, so it's different stages, so first I'm about 24 and then for real maybe in my 30s with everyone else. I've got quite a big family, so okay. I just holiday and everybody was just like, oh, he's cool. Um, that and was then, it. 
I got no key. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. It's, it's always, it's, it's funny. I was talking to a friend yesterday about it as well. It's, it's yeah. uh, even though if you have like a very supportive family, um, yeah. they, your parents support you as well, but it's really hard to say, isn't it? It's like, it's, it's oh. here. Like it doesn't yeah. come easily. Like yeah. it's funny because I always I told my mom a few years ago as well, of course. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I, I've been raised a very uh, modern family. They always told me, okay, be yourself right. all the time. Just be yeah. nice. Anyway, but it's a sense hard. It's hard. Yeah. But if every mom, they know their child. They know. You know? Yeah. They know yeah. very well. I think you know it can take time. Sometimes they don't want to know what they want to believe, but they know very well their child more than anybody else. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. Let's get another question. It did. Okay, before the next question, tell me what's the most memorable lesson you learned from your partner? My partner? Uh, I think it's okay to let go sometimes, not be like always too overpowering. I think before I always wanted, because I'm an extrovert and he's not. And sometimes he doesn't want to come out, you know, to go out or anything. And I think I found that, and then <laughs> that was the best person that he taught me. <laughs> cool, very cool. Next question is, who is the most influential person in your life? Wow, very good question. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Um, if I could say as a collective, my friends, because um, I think friends are the family you choose for yourself and you know when I see them doing things that maybe they shouldn't do then it's telling me well maybe I shouldn't do that but they usually give me the best advice and I think so I always see myself in their eyes so I think my friends as a collective would be the most influential people in my life okay I'm not gonna be hard to you. I'm not gonna say, okay, I need to pick one. I'll take that. That's fine. <laughs> you're, not gonna look, you're gonna look bad in your friends. If you, if you pick up one, don't pick up the other. Go like, what? That's okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> right, I'll leave with that. That's fine. That's fine. Right, guy, okay, ready for the last one? I am. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it done. Question. What three things do you want to be remembered for? Okay. Uh, so first thing, um, I think I want to have mattered in people's life. So I want to have been a good role model for people. Okay. Uh, I think my smile. So I'm quite a positive person. So you know, <laughs> if you remember, help me remember my smile. Oh. Uh, um, yeah, it's really difficult. What would be the third one? Um, I suppose I really enjoy that people can be themselves. So I always try to be myself as much as possible. So that should be maybe the third thing that people should remember. So I've been myself. Whatever I've done, you know, good or bad, uh, I was myself. Great. Very good. Very good. Um, what's your ast ast astral sign, just for curiosity? Astral sign. It's a good question. I'm a Taurus. Oh, uh, um, uh, April? Uh, sorry, uh, April. Uh, April. Yeah. April. Okay. Yeah. I have very actually my all my best, like most of my best friends, they are Taurus. I have a very good, a very good um, history, like with Taurus. That yeah. when I look back, my first, the first girl I fell in love was Taurus, and now we are good okay. friends. I have one of my best friends. He lives in Holland. As my, my gay fr friends, actually, the first one, he's Pol uh, he's Portuguese, but he lives in in, in Holland. His towers as well. I've got a very good friend of mine in Rio de Janeiro, like very connects towers as well. And uh, so yes, I've got this connection with uh, tower people. Very, very good connection. <laughs> right, it's not the end yet. Okay, Gaia, what am I going to do now? Let's do the quick thinking game, okay? I'll tell you words and tell me uh, the first thing that comes to your um, mind. All right. Let's start with religion. Um, openness. Okay. A fear. Uh, doubt. Okay. Politics. Important. Life. Amazing. Sex. Uh, key. Okay. Family. Missing. Oh, money. <laughs> Not the most important. Okay. Love. Happiness. Friendship. Essential. Desire. Um, flirtation. 
Regrets. None. Wish. Um, the pandemic to be over. <laughs> <laughs> and the last um, one, uh, let's say France. France, uh, where my heart is. Oh, very mm -hmm. sweet, very <laughs> sweet. Okay, Gaio, let's pretend now I'm going, uh, I'm going to meet your partner for a coffee and I'm going to ask your husband. Tell me one very, uh, the, the one very positive thing about Gael and tell me a very negative thing about him. What do you think he'll tell me? Just one word each. Okay, so best thing, um, very good with technology. So that helps a lot. Uh, <laughs> might have too many friends, so that would be the worst thing. Oh, really? <laughs> you're, too, you're too sociable. <laughs> yeah, too sociable. <laughs> <laughs> Poor him, I hope he's co a copy of that. I mean, been so many years, I'm sure he's at the end the way. <laughs> right. Okay, let's now play Gael in the Mad Box, and you can ask me a question, okay? But okay, you can ask me a question now. Absolutely. So, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Good question, good question. I think if I could have. Um, a, like the biggest superpower, I would have the superpower of changing, op no, not change, but the superpower would be to open people's minds. I think, I think people, um, it would be a different world if people would be more open about anything, you know, about religion, about accepting things, about sexuality, about anything, anything that I think people would be open or just you don't need to um, to understand, um, but you need to respect and accept the way right. things are. Yeah. So I think the world would be much more, um, I don't say easier, but would be more uh, um, more connected in a way, because people, they wouldn't fight or um, or argue about things that they don't, they, they, they've been raised a different way or they believe in a different way, mm -hmm. you know? I think so if I could change, like just this click in people's uh, minds, just to to just to understand that, to be open, yeah, to be open. We don't need to be perfect, but just be open to whatever you see. If you see some somebody different, like dressed in a different way, someone like mm -hmm. uh, behave in a different way that you're not used to, just accept it. Just uh, accept it. Uh, it's the only thing um, we could do. I think the world would be a better place. Good. I like this. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Gaia, did you have a good time? Yes, absolutely loved it. Thank you. Yeah, it was great. Amazing. Thank you so much for contacting. Thank you so much. I was really, uh, when you contacted me, just made my day because you saw the interview and I've, I've, I've been to interview with people that uh, they, they've seen already other interviews as well. Yeah. And I think just, it's yeah. just so nice and uh, to connect with people and um, and it's very, very easy. My God, you're very easy to answer your question. You're very easy, like very. Some people, you know, some people, which is fine. It's, it's just people that are different. I just find, I find how interesting people are. But at the end of the day, it's just so nice to connect with people, different backgrounds, different beliefs, different point of views, you know. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, the whole show is about they're not right or wrong answer. It's just your point of view. I think that's that's the whole thing. <laughs> Thank right, Gael, thank you so much. And before you go, if you don't mind to share a positive most, uh, message, a positive quote, something that ins inspires yeah. your life. Absolutely. So one of the quotes I go by uh, is from um, Oscar Wilde. And it's, we're all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. So I think it's all about happiness. Some people think, oh, life is difficult, life is this, blah, blah. For me, I'm like, yeah, but focus on the positive and then your life is easier. So I think that's a great quote. That's the one I like the best. Very, I totally agree with you. I think when you, when because we're gonna, go, we're gonna go through in life like down and good time. But when you, when you are down and you know, and you be positive about, I think the pain's less, isn't it? When you think, oh, you know what, it's gonna go away one point. And I think yeah. when you take, I sometimes when I'm down for some reason, when I feel sad, I actually to be honest, I go like, I, I, I talk to myself, I go like, oh my god. Uh, you are able to feel sad, you are able to feel uh, dull, and it's gonna go away at one point. And uh, mm. I feel much like better, I feel better when you yeah. realize that, when you accept the problem, when you accept the, the, the reason why you are sad, it makes it makes you suffer less, um, I believe. So, I mean, the only yeah. way you're down, the only way is up, so... Totally, that's... totally, totally, and uh, it's <laughs> life like that. Some days it's gonna be like, hey, other days it's gonna be like, oh... And uh, it makes life interesting. I think life is very interesting because of that. Yeah, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much, okay? All the best for your husband. Enjoy your day. And we'll keep in touch, okay? We will. Absolutely. Brilliant. Take, Take care. care. Have a great day. Thanks for the interview, Bye. okay? Bye-bye. Right. Bye. 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 Bye.
Au revoir, monsieur. <laughs> Merci. Right, right Did you have a nice time? Enjoy the interview. William and the Magic Box. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, William and the Magic Box. And if you'd like to be part of the show as well, just visit our website, www.williamandthematicbox.com. Give a like, share the video, and see you tomorrow with another lovely interview. Bye-bye, see you tomorrow. Bye.